present. Okay, I, I have a confession to make. I am probably the worst person in the world when it comes to understanding song lyrics. See, usually I listen to the music. The lyrics I don't really care much for. Yeah, no. But then I got to thinking. Who is the most unintelligible singer of all time? Well, I found a Reddit thread that I think can answer that for us. Which band musician has the most unintelligible lyrics? Uh. So this is how singers are going to be nominated by people mentioning them in this thread. This probably isn't a common answer, but I have a hard time understanding some lyrics in Brian Johnson era ACDC songs. Oh, come on. What's not to understand? <laughs> Okay, okay, so that's a bit of an exaggeration, but I found a way to see just how unintelligible these singers really are. I'm gonna cut out the music, leaving just the singer. We're gonna see just how unintelligible Brian Johnson really is. Number one with a bullet, I'm a power pack. Admittedly, the rest I don't understand at all. The guy's voice is so gravelly, he sounds like he smokes two packs a minute. Packing the van, I got a friend of me. Oh, friend, though. All right, now I present to you our grading system. Everything from spectacular vernacular, perfectly clear singers, all the way down to... <laughs> and we're gonna put ACDC somewhere around mm, decent dialect. I mean... Decent dialect! Actually, you know what? Let me listen to the ACDC one again. You should play my Konami songs! You know what? That sounds like a pretty damn good idea. <laughs> and my Konami slots are the sponsors of today's video. Join millions of slot players and win big with my Konami slots. The official Konami casino. Join millions and win millions. My Konami features some of your favorite slot machines straight off the casino floor. Like Jumpin' Jalapenos, China Mystery, Lotus Land, Lion Festival, Star Watch Magma, and many, many more. Including authentic Konami inspired slot machines. Here's my favorite so far because it's based on Silent Hill. What? In fact, they're always adding new slots, so there's always a new favorite to find. Not to mention the famous All Aboard feature that allows you to win big. This is a slot fan favorite because it allows you to jackpot, essentially. Come on. Give me all of them endorphins. Give me that dopamine rush. Mima. What? <gasps> <laughs> what? And the best part of it all, you can have the whole casino experience without wagering any of your actual money. I ain't no gambler, but I love this game. Bam! And with the Real Life Rewards program, you can redeem your slot winnings for real life Vegas rewards, such as hotel stays, dinners, and much more. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna follow the link in my description, and you're gonna get a two million free chips welcome bonus, plus a 10 million special bonus exclusively through my link, or by scanning the QR code. <laughs> Bring Las Vegas to your phone and play for free right now. Oh, must be 18 and over to play. Have fun. All right, see what we got here. Alt-J, hands down in my book, and it's got a ton of upvotes. I've never heard of Alt-J. Let's take a listen. Friendly reminder, I have cut out the music. Let's take a listen. You may contain the urge to run away, but hold her down with soggy clothes and breeze blocks. Citrusine, your fever scream me again. Never kisses, or do you ever send? Okay, <laughs> what is this, Elmer Fudd? I do, I do, I do, I do, Right, so uh, we're gonna put our uh, Alt J friend just slightly down here, <laughs> just one step below verbal diarrhea. Well, here, here is a bold accusation. We got Ariana Grande. It's all about high pitched and losses of sense of dictation. I've never really listened to Ariel Large Nipple. She really was hard to understand. Well, I'll be gosh darn. It's like, bud, close your freaking mouth to make words. It's like she has this invisible barrier where she can't close her mouth completely. It's like, all right, so where should we put Areola Grande or large nipple? I'm gonna slap her right next to Satisfactory Spatch. That. Read my nephew, so I do. Read my nephew, solitude? Read my nephew, so I do. What? 
Renunciation. What are the actual lyrics for that? I, I, I'm just getting pissed off. Oh, it's read my interviews? Oh, well, you gotta pronunciate interviews. You can't be like, read my Oh, what'd you do today, Billie Eilish? I had a job. You know what? I find it only appropriate that Large Nipple and Billie Eilish are together at last because neither of them know how to close their mouth to properly pronunciate a word. To this is swell, you almost have a fit. This guy's coach and I got hit. There's no mistake. This is it! <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna go with a solid didn't understand a frickin' word of that. Now granted, Bjork, Bjork is Icelandic, guessing English isn't her first language. So with that in mind, I'm gonna be generous and put her at verbal diarrhea. <laughs> oh. Blink-182, here we go. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. What's not to understand? Where are you? I'm so sorry. This is almost a case of too much pronunciation. He just adds an extra vowel to every single word. Where are you? So I'm gonna put Blink-182 mm, at decent dialect, just, just below cohesive crooning. I knew this was gonna be on the list, Latter Day Bob Dylan. And I assume by Latter Day Bob Dylan, they mean Bob Dylan. People call, say be web doll, you're bound to fall, you thought they were all. <laughs> what? The beginning was all right, and then he just kind of had a stroke midway through and People call, say be web doll. People call, say be wear doll, and then. Find a fall, you thought they were all. Find a fall, you fought fever off. All right, so look, since I only understood like 50% of what he said, I'm gonna put him right in the middle, right next to Billie Eilish. Bon Iver, or Boniver. I've heard of Bon Iver before, never heard them. Let's listen to them without music. You know I'm burning ain't a bust. I'm not alone, I've had a ball and I'm all right. Oh, what? Do you want to try singing that again without cotton balls in your mouth? All right, Boniver, I'm putting you right next to Bob Dylan for the same reasons. Bon Iver essentially sounds like a higher pitched Bob Dylan. Oh, come on. What's not to understand? <laughs> the chainsaw. Fire up the chainsaw! See, look! This is growling vocals, yet it's still more understandable than Boniver. Although, we cannot classify metal as being hard to understand because it's growling vocals, none of us understand what they're saying. Some of us claim to, mm -mm, none of us can understand what means. So this is not really fair, but I think Cannibal Corpse would appreciate being put under verbal diarrhea because that's essentially what their lyrics are. Cocktail Twins. This one I saw a lot of people recommending. Tons of upvotes. I'm really curious about this one. The thing about this is, there's so much effects on the voice, and I'm assuming it's even harder to understand when the music is in there. I feel sorry for Cocktail Twins fans. They're just at the concert like, I don't know. Uh, that's what you do at Cocktail Concerts. Cocktail Twins, I'm moving on. Unless you guys wanna take another look at the Cocktail Twins. <laughs> I'll move on for sure. All right, and since I didn't understand a single word, I'm gonna put Cocktail Cocktail Twins uh, somewhere around here. Converge. All right, here's another band that's like metal, growly vocals. Again, hard to, um, well, let's listen. There is something gross in my puppet cat! I swear I'm trying! This man is going through some stuff. <laughs> in my puppet cat! <laughs> my pup had gas? In my puppet cat! <laughs> 
<laughs> Somehow I don't think that's it. So since Converge's pup had gas, I'm gonna put them under verbal oh. diarrhea. Deftones, I can't understand a thing Chino says. I have to admit something, I have barely ever listened to Deftones, but let's just see how unintelligible Chino really is. I'm the new king, I'll take the queen. I heard a boob cake, I'll take the cream. I'm the new king. I feel like this is a band where if you listen to them a lot, they're much easier to understand. You know what, I, I'm just gonna put Deftones somewhere around the middle, cause I'm just confused. The Saint of City, it's a guy ass face okay yep they actually are hard to understand let's hear am i more than you boogied for yeah and even then it sounds like he said boogied am i more than you boogied for yeah and another thing about patrick stuppy wumpy he does not complete some words like bargained Bugged. and here's patrick stump pronouncing anything so he basically takes words and chops them in ha that being said though, I'll put Fall Out Boy somewhere slightly above average in terms of mumbleability. I think Gojira deserves a special spot on this list. Love their songs, but don't know what they're saying unless I read the lyrics. So let's just take a little looky-poo. The Great Pacific Garbage Match is exhausted! Patrick is exhausting. Patch is exhausted! The Great Pacific Garbage. The Great Pacific Garbage Match is exhausted! Pat Patrick's exhausting. Thanks, Gajira. Yeah, see, this is growling vocals again, but even faster this time, so it's even harder to understand. I'm gonna put them right next to uh, Bajork. <laughs> Insomniac Green Day for me. What's not to understand? <laughs> Gotta say, I've never heard Billy Joe Armstrong without music. Here we go. No rest for cross shops in my mind. Like, what the hell was that? No rest for grass chops in my- No rest for grass chops? <laughs> what are we having for dinner tonight? Grass chops. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow we'll have park chops. What was your favorite 90s kids show? Lamb chops. Now that my lens is completely covered in spit, thank you, Billage. I gotta tell you, years of listening to that song, I still don't know what the f*** that's even saying. But for the most part, Billy Joe Armstrong is not that hard to understand. Hate Beak? Never heard of them, but they have quite a few upvotes. We'll take a listen. The singer of this band is a bird. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I wonder why you can't understand a word. Well, maybe it's because it's a freaking <laughs> So unfortunately, I have to put Hate Beak at the lowest tier because their singer is of the aviation variety. All right, Meshuga, LOL. Or sorry, Meskahoga! Meskahoga! God, they're, they're just throwing every metal band under the bus, hey? My grandson liquids the front of my grandson liquids a fantasy squirrel? My grandson liquids a fantasy squirrel! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Not a word. Now in terms of growling or screaming, Meshuggah is actually even harder to understand than the typical. So I'm actually gonna put them a step lower into I like juice! My bloody valentine, not sure if I made a single word out of my first listen to Loveless. And again, lots of upvotes. My bloody valentine, never heard any of their stuff before. Let's hear their singing. You Medicare. There's way too much effects on that to even throw out a guess. Medicare. Yeah, no, it's way too mumbly. Way too effecty. Way too mumbly. So once again, because I can't understand a single word, bottom. Nirvana. It's honestly too much for my South Asian ears to decipher. I'm a lotto. I'm a bino. I'm a mosquito. Yeah, see, here's the thing. If I didn't know the lyrics already, I probably wouldn't have a clue what he's saying. A mosquito, a libido, like, even if he is singing clearly, it's hard for your brain to hear those words because it just doesn't make sense. But I'm gonna put Nirvana somewhere around here because even though Kurt Cobain kinda sounds like he sings with a mouthful of marbles, he's not that bad. 
Ozzy knew this was coming. His interviews more than his singing. That is very true. Let's hear him singing. Watching all of history repeat itself. Watching all of history repeat itself? Clear as day. Now let's listen to an interview. <laughs> you sober now? No, no, yeah. yeah. I'm never, but I, I'm So I'm gonna put Oz singing Ozzy somewhere above the rest because he is very clear at singing and Ozzy talking. Uh, I mean, if there was only a place I could put him yeah. lower, I mean. <laughs> Look at all those upvotes. This has got to be number one. Pearl Jam. <laughs> he could be singing about titty twisting a rare African squirrel, and I wouldn't know the difference. Now, while Eddie Vedder is actually an amazing singer, in terms of clarity, I can't put him any, any higher than verbal diarrhea. Playboy Cardi. I barely understand what he says sober, and when drunk, it's a trip. Uh, I'm assuming this is gonna be our first mumble rapper. It's been far too long without one. I need a day ready to drill, yeah. Okay. I got a day ready to drill, yeah. Okay. My young nigga, they came from hell. Okay. The chopper go red right like a fence, wet. Okay. What? It sounds like my one-year-old nephew when you don't know what he wants. So, I mean... <laughs> yes! Yes! Mm-hmm! That's right. I haven't listened to Rancid in a long time, but here's my prediction. <laughs> like what? Tim Armstrong is literally a mix of stroke and mumble rapper. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like a teenager like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and because Tim Armstrong sounds like he only gives 20% effort when he sings, I'm I'm putting him at satisfactory speech. R.E.M. The earlier, the less intelligible. 334 upvotes, too. Team, my team reporters babble Trump, Ted crop. Look at that low plane. Fine. Then. Okay, I understood a solid half of the words there. Team, my team reporters babble Trump. Team, my team reporters baffle Trump. Look at that low plane. Fine. Then. What, like, what is that? What is that? Fine. Then. Fine. Yeah. You see, Losing My Religion is a much easier song to understand. That being said, I'll give them decent dialect. See? Put them right over here. That's them in the corner. Really? A lot of upvotes, too. I, I gotta tell you. Sometimes it feels like I don't have a partner. What is hard to understand about Red Hot Chili Peppers? I realize I don't want to be a miser. Confined with sly up in a wine tub. Confined with sly up in a wine tub? Okay, the lyrics are confined with sly, you'll be the wiser. Confined with sly up in a wine tub. Oh, okay, it does sound like that. Again, this is a case of the lyrics being so stupid, you can't make it out. But in terms of Anthony Kiedis' vocals, clarity-wise, I have to, you know what? There's no one here, I'm giving him spectacular vernacular. Very well dictative singer. That, that, that's right. That, that's right. Oh, you forgive the woman access to your villa. Just for some weakness, all of your clean your pillar. You better watch your back before she turn into a killer. You better watch your back before she turn into a killer. But the rest of that is just like a mumbling fish flapping around having a stroke. <laughs> now, I bought Shaggy's Hot Shots album when it came out when I was a kid because I loved it, wasn't me. And it pains me to have to do this, but I'm putting them at the bottom tier because I have never understood a single word the guy's ever said. I, I do have to say though, I never really took uh, Smashing Pumpkins as being hard to understand. I don't even care. Shake these apple blooms. Shake these apple blooms? God, 
so freaking nasally though. Like, maybe that's why people have a hard time understanding them. <laughs> So Billy Corgan, very nasally, but not that incohesive. So I'm gonna put him somewhere in the middle, satisfactory speech. No one is gonna say the police, Sting? I'll say it, I'll say it right here. Sting is impossible to understand. The starting of a brand new day, I got the last part, but the part before that is like something about Stan on a melon. So I'm gonna put Sting somewhere slightly below average because even Family Guy has made fun of his incohesive lyrics. Bam! What's not to understand? But other than that, pretty cohesive. Wake up! Wake up! Grab brush and put a little makeup! I just got to fade away the shake up! Why'd you leave the keys up on the table? I do have to admit, if I didn't know the lyrics, I wouldn't understand a word of that. Grab brush and put a little makeup! Makeup! This is just incohesive jibber 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 doop. But it is kind of System of a Down's thing to have weird vocals like that, so I'm gonna put them at satisfactory speech just because of the makeup. The 1975, quite a few upvotes as well, but here's the thing about the 1975. Very British. Oi, bruv, my fine day of 1975, ain't it? And don't call it a fight when you know it's a war. And don't call it a fight you know it's a war. See what I mean? You can just tell he had a point before singing this. And don't call it fight. Don't call it fight. Like, that's the most British thing I've ever heard in my life. Now, it's all a matter of perspective. I'm sure for British people, he's easy as hell to understand. And maybe they have a hard time understanding Frank Sinatra. But from a North American perspective, I can't put them any higher than mid-tier. All right, I'm gonna give them a bit of leniency because of their accent, decent dialect. How is Tom Waits not listed in top five? I've never actually listened to Tom Waits, but I have heard before that he's impossible to understand. So let's take a little cook nee 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 nee. God, what the hell was that? Was someone stomping on his nuts while he was singing that? <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have a crackhead Muppet section, so I'm putting him in verbal diarrhea. Oh! <sighs> we found the king. The girl and Skilati! Five million and forty naughty shawty! Okay, <laughs> that's some killer tit! And Skilati! <laughs> wow! Five million and forty naughty shawty! Five million and farting on this year tit? Five million and forty naughty shawty! So bottom tier for Sean Paul, no surprises there. <laughs> you know what? An occasion such as this deserves special treatment. Well, there you have it, folks. I feel pretty good about this list. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with me or if there's anything you would change. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoy what I do, hit har har har, and be sure to watch another har har har, and always remember, har 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 har, and always make a fun